my name is Jeannie if you didn't know that now you do if you didn't know that welcome back to my channel today's video is very holiday oriented to hello genie if you didn't know Halloween now is called that so if you could only refer to it as hello genie that would be greatly appreciated throughout the ages thank you basically this time of the year is my favorite time of the year I love fall I love winter and this is only the beginning guys so I decided that it'd be a fun little time if I could just share some of my ghost stories with you because ghosts are real and sometimes they fuck with you. Um, oh my god, my camera just moved a little bit when I said that, so, um, I might die. I have a list that I've written down for you guys so I don't miss anything because my brain, you know, <laughs> I'm blonde, hey. I'm just gonna say this story. This didn't happen first. This wasn't the first little bit and piece with this ghost. Um, I worked with him for quite some time. That sounds so weird. I worked at a pizza place and no, that is not the scary part. The scary part is there was a ghost that also lived there. Uh, I'm not the only one who's like interacted with this. Like everyone that I worked with at least once had like some sort of interaction with the ghost. So it's not just me being crazy and blonde. It, this was a real thing. This was a real occurrence. So basically I'm just gonna tell you this little bit and piece of the story. There's like a bunch of parts and a bunch of occurrences that have happened. But the first occurrence I really just want to tell you because it's very lighthearted. It's funny. He finally got a name after this. So basically the fridge that we had in the back had a bunch of stuff that was already prepped in it. So there was garlic bread in that, okay? And it was just bread pieces with butter and garlic, all the goods on top of it. And then when someone wanted it, you'd grab one and throw it in the oven and it would get all warm. It's like a great thing. Like places do that. Wow. I think one time my friend Quinn, I think it was her, um, she, she went to grab a piece with bread. But um, the one right on top, just just chilling on top, had a big bite taken out of it. Those weren't like that, cause I closed the night before. I was the closing manager person. My garlic bread was not like that. So that means sometime between midnight and like 11 a.m., the ghost got a little hungry and needed a bite of garlic bread. So after that, we just decided to call him Garlic Bread Ghost. Garlic Ghost. The toast ghost. I've had other interactions with ghosts before, but this was by far my favorite. He was funny. He fucked with people. Literally, my spirit animal. I just loved him to death. And so basically, I worked with this girl. We're not going to say any names, but she had told multiple people that she'd seen him and that she he was a janitor. And like, what? Why is there a janitor at this pizza place? But here's the thing. Ghost? Just... They just hold on to the objects that they're connected to. So if you move that object that the ghost connected to, the ghost is gonna follow with it, and that's just how supernatural things work. Hello, kitten. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> After the girl I worked with had said she had seen a janitor, I started to be like, okay, well, if he's a janitor, that's something we could use to communicate with him. Like, if we ever wanted to talk to, I'm so weird. Why am I telling you guys these stories? You're all gonna think I'm insane. I don't care. You already know I'm insane. So basically, let me just tell you the big one because I don't want to save the best for last. I want like you guys to know that the, through the rest of this video that this, he didn't fuck around. Like he could have done some damage if one needed to. But so basically the surveillance cameras that we had in the pizza place, they, they look, they only work when like there's motion in front of them, right? Like you get that, right? When there's stuff in front of it, it's gonna turn on. If there's nothing in front of it, it's not gonna work. It's energy efficient. We're here trying to save the planet. Um, but what I'm about to tell you, you might just poop your pants. My manager at the time was like, hey, can you come in the office? And I'm just like, oh great, what did I not do right this time, you know? But uh, I just walked in there casually and she showed me these videos from p random periods of the night where there was ghost activity. How do I know there's ghost activity? Because there was no one in the building and you could not see anything in front of the cameras that were on, but it, they were on. Why, up until that point, had they never came on when no one was in front of them? Like, this isn't a fluke. Like, up until then, they worked perfectly, so it's just unlogical that they would just record nothing for no reason. Like, something was triggering them to go off. Some sort of motion that we couldn't see, but the camera could, like, detect. I don't know. I'm not a machine. There's about five to six minutes of just silence throughout the video. And then, at one point, 
you just hear a pan being tossed across the whole restaurant like an in like a pizza pan like this like extra large bitch we looked for the pan and it, it was underneath the prep table um uh, probably about 20 feet from its home where it should have been but it had been tossed um so loudly that it was just it found a new home so one time I was in the building alone and that's completely fine like sometimes that just happens I, I was telling him hi like I know you just like want to be here and that's okay like we accept you we think you're cool like don't worry all of us are cool too like we're just gonna let you be um, you can like let us know you're here you can do more stuff like that's fine and I told him to do stuff right um, well that was like fun for me because I also had a heart attack after about two minutes later I hear and, and there's and there's no one in the restaurant, okay, no customers, no employees. I am the only living person in here. But what do I hear? I hear keys jingling in the corner over there, probably about 15 feet away from me, but there's keys and they're a jingling. So therefore, I just assumed that it was janitor boy. And then I heard stopping with his industrial janitorial boots. Garlic Ghost was there, and he was letting me know he was there, and I'm okay with that. Let me just tell you about the beer sign. We had a sign, and I had a brand of beer. I can't remember what it was. I don't. So one day, I'm just over right, right by the sign, literally two feet from the sign, and it's hanging on the wall, and I'm right here at this little table. I'm just chopping some shit, just doing my work. Chop, 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 right? Well, then my other coworker, let's call her Candace. Candace comes over to me and she goes, oh, the beer side, I haven't seen that turn on a while. And I look and I'm like, oh, yeah, did you do that? She looks at me and she goes, no, I didn't. And I look at her and go, wow, okay. So there was one other employee in the store that could have turned it on. So I went and asked him, uh, he was in the bathroom. So I knock on the wall, I'm like, hey, did you turn on the beer side? What? Did you turn on the beer sign? And he just yells no. And so I like run back and I'm like, oh my god, Candace. Candace bitch, Candace. He didn't do it either. Do you know what that means? That means it was garlic ghost, bitch. It was him. Because he kept doing it throughout the night after we were on to him. So we turned it off and then all three of us, me, Candace, and then bathroom boy, were all chilling in the back, right? And we walk back out. The sign's on again. We turn it off. And when we turn it off that at that time, because we all go, oh my god, the ghost. Like, why are you still turning this on? Why do you want this on? You know, we're like complaining, fucking around, like, while we turn it off. Well, when we turn it off, it just starts blinking. Multiple times, repeated blinking. And it had never done that before, ever. So we were all like, mmm, okay. So we tied the string that turned it on to the ground. Um, just because we didn't want to deal with it anymore and he was obviously able to turn it on like that so we thought maybe if we tied it he would just not even want to go through all the trouble because at this point we were getting a little freaked out and then after that um, bathroom boy downloaded a bunch of ghost like t talking to investigation apps but none of them those work just saying but he did download and spent about $7.99 on those and that was a waste of everyone's time so it's a good time Right? My last thing that I just want to talk to you about because he was sort of a, an asshole but he was like funny and he was sassy. He would only make the light bulbs work and like the lights work when it was convenient for him. Yes, I know. If he didn't want this certain light in the hallway to work, one day it just wouldn't work. And we had had electricians, like whatever, like there wasn't an issue, like it was just c casually, whenever he didn't want one of them to work, he just would make it not work. And so that was always fun to wonder what light won't work today. Or like if people, if we had coworkers that didn't believe that he existed, like if the coworker had to do dishes that day, he just would make the light above the sinks just not work. And so that coworker had to do dishes in the dark. It was brilliant and he was a mastermind and I miss working there just because of him. I hope you guys like this video. If you want more stories like this and you wanna hear about my other paranormal activity stories or you just wanna hear random paranormal uh, paranormal activity stories, you can just comment down below or like it and I'll, I'll know, I'll know you want more. If you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because if you don't hit the notification bell, you won't get notified probably because that's just how the world works nowadays. It's YouTube. I can't do anything about it. So all my social media is down in the description box below. I love you guys. Happy Halloweeny. I'll be posting more this month because it is the month of me.
get all of my glory. So yes, I'll see you guys next time. I love you. Chanel loves you. And we're having a real spooky time here.